Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. My name's Chris and today we're gonna organize this drawer here by taking some of the bits out and using the Harbor Freight US General Magnetic Bit Storage Holder. This is part number 70026 and again, this is the US General Magnetic Bit Storage Holder. Now this magnetic bit storage holder organizes up to 36 bits for convenient and easy identification by assuming that you can just look down and see what the drive type is. Now the base of this piece of plastic is magnetic and because that housing is plastic, you know, you can beat this thing around, you can knock it around and it should hold up over time, assuming that you don't rip that magnet off the bottom. But let's go check this out and we'll open it up and see what it looks like. So we're gonna slice this open with a razor blade and then we will just peel back the plastic here and let's have a look at it here. Now the depth on each one of those cutouts, it's about 5 eighths of an inch. So if you have a one inch bit, it's gonna stick out just a little bit. So we have that one inch, we got the two inch, then we got the three inch here and we can see that when we put each one of those in there, you know, if you were to stick those all amongst a bunch of three inch bits, it would be hard to get them out if they were in the middle, but they all hold in there and it's doing pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and load up the rest of this here with the three inch bits. Now the bits that I'm using, these are from Harbor Freight and these aren't the high end bits. They're the Warrior brand 36 piece bit set item number 68817 coming in at $9.99. So if you can catch these on a deal, you can use that 30% off coupon to bring that price way down. Otherwise, the Warrior products, you can use that 20 or even 25% off coupon when available. And the reason that I purchased this set was because of that three inch security Torx bit. I needed that to get in on my cobalt battery as well as a couple other electronics. I knew Harbor Freight had that and it just worked out really well for me. So a lot of those items in there, I'm not gonna just use and abuse. They may hold up. I really just, again, haven't got a chance to use any of them other than one of those small Torx bits. It was the, uh, the number 10 security Torx bit and that's pretty much the only one that I've used and it worked just fine. And so here you can see we got everything organized. That one in the middle is slightly larger so that one, while well, I can stick a bit in there, that one, I'm, I'm sure that I'm gonna be able to drop things out of that one. But here, we'll shake it a little bit and see everything is holding up pretty impressive. Let's go see how that magnet holds up. We're gonna stick it on a refrigerator here and bam, that just sticks like no other and it's not gonna have any issues. We'll try it on a toolbox here. Again, no issues on that. Sticking up there, you'd be able to grab one of those if you need it. So let's hang it upside down here and see if we have any better or worse results. And again, no change. It looks like that magnetic bit holder is doing a great job. So let's go put it on the US General. Oops, and yeah, that center one. Yeah, so you might wanna be careful on that center one because stuff does appear to come out of that. And there we go, we have it on the US General. Again, with that other clip rail holder and everything looks fantastic it is holding up really good that magnet's doing a great job but you guys really wanted to see what happens when we close the lid again i never intended to close the lid with this but here we shake that a little bit and you can see you know we're having all sorts of problems with that clip rail and stuff is just falling out when we try to tip it over but again these are really long they're sitting on the base and this, this again i never meant for my lid to close but why don't we take these off again we should be reviewing this magnetic bit holder but you know we're at this point where everything's holding up really good with the magnetic bit holder so let's go ahead and put some craftsman ratchets in that clip style holder up there and we'll just load that up with a seven millimeter all the way up to 20 millimeter. We'll get those in there and then we will go ahead and close that lid and we'll show you exactly why this is not designed for having that lid closed down unless you had two racks, which I wouldn't recommend, or even another magnetic bar on there to hold them down. So you can see those wrenches, they're coming down a little bit. And if you continue to close it here, the first time I got really lucky. I don't know how that closed because all the other times it did not close, but this time it did. 
But we're going to go ahead and close it again here because, again, that was just very, very dumb luck. That's not how things are supposed to happen. And, again, I never intended for this to close. But, again, you go ahead and close that down. And then they start acting like a little prop and holding up the lid and you can't close it down. So there you can see that seven and eight millimeter, they are sticking in the sockets and then you can't close the lid down. And those aren't even heavy. So I, I mean, you can't put your wrenches in that way and expect this to work with the lid coming down. So guys, that's it on the US General Magnetic Bit Storage Holder. It really met my expectations. I didn't have a whole lot and it really was actually a very useful storage holder. So I really am impressed with this. Not too bad, you can still use your discount coupons on this. And that magnet, it holds up pretty well too. And as always guys, work smarter, not harder. And I'll catch you in the next video.